barcodes, barcodes everywhere. This episode is going to be about generating barcodes with the Z-Axing library for Xamarin Forms. So this will tell you in three easy steps how to generate your own barcodes from your application that you can send, save, do whatever you want with it. You know, let's just see. Roll the intro. So let's generate some barcodes. Um, here you can see a, a file new Xamarin Forms app running, and this I am going to use to um, implement some generate barcode functionality. So um, here you can see it, it's nothing fancy, just a little label to get you started with the Xamarin Forms stuff. Um, now let's see how we can use this to create barcodes in basically three steps. So I'm gonna stop this first, and we're going to install the right NuGet package. So I'm going to go to right click manage NuGet packages and I'm going to find uh, ZXing forms. So there is a ZXing package that does um, scanning barcodes. So if that's what you're looking for, that's not going to be in this video. But uh, if you look into the video right now, there is a link popping up uh, and that takes you to the video to generate barcodes. But for this video, we're going to generate barcodes. So find the zxing.net.mobile.forms. Uh, make sure that you release, use the uh, pre-release that is here right now, um, which has some stability fixes. So by the time you're seeing this, uh, this might be out of a pre-release, but be sure to check that. And we're going to add that package to all of the um, projects right here. So click OK and wait for that to complete. Here we go, the packages are added. So let's start uh, writing some code. So we're going to go to the shared project, which is the top one here, and we're going to go to our main page. Uh, so these are the labels that we were just seeing with the start developing now, do all the things. I'm just going to remove that one. We are going to put a nice barcode in place. Um, first things first, uh, do the most important stuff. So let's update our title to uh, barcode sample. Here we go. And underneath here, we can um, start declaring our um, barcode image view. But before we do that, we need to import the right XML namespace for the ZXing stuff. So we are going to type XML NS here in the, the root uh, of our page. And I'm going to name this one um, ZXing. And the IntelliSense should pop up here and um, start telling us the ones that we need. So .NET Mobile .Forms, that's the one we want. Here we go. And now we should have access through this XML namespace to um, our new barcode image view. So here we go. Uh, you have to use a barcode image view and this will generate the image for us. Um, so basically the only thing you have to do is specify a barcode value. Um, so let's do something random like, um, who I don't know, like please subscribe to my channel. Uh, that's nice. And whenever we do this, we should be able to actually run this right now and see a barcode pop up. So here it comes and we should be seeing a QR code that's right there. Um, so it's very, very small. You can see that. So hopefully by the power of hot reload, we can say um, with request, make that five, hide request, also five, save. And let's see what that gives us. So here we go, but it's very, very blurry as you can see, but it is nice and big. Um, it should have like the barcode value in there. Um, so you can choose other formats. I will handle the, the blurriness later. Um, the barcode format is by default QR code, but you can set the format to something different as well. So here we have all kinds of other formats that you can do um, and it will automatically generate um, a barcode in that format for you. Um, note that some formats have a specific um, uh, rules. So uh, for instance, if you use like the um, uh, EAN 13, it has to be like 12 or 13 digits. Uh, and I think it, they can be only numeric, but that I'm not entirely sure. on. Um, so, you know, you can generate all kinds of barcodes in, in different formats. So that's pretty cool. So this blurriness is kind of a problem. Um, I'm not sure if it's a bug or, or how this works, but um, the image view is now stretched from 500 to 500, uh, while the actual QR image is like the tiny one that you just saw. So um, if we remove this self-closing tag and we make it uh, closing like this. So the ZXing barcode image view has a um, options object. 
Um, so let's see, zxing dot uh, barcode options, here we go. And this takes a um, encoding options object, and that is in a different namespace. So we're going to import another namespace right here, um, XML NS, um, zxing, I don't know, common. It's It might be a little bit um, long, but you know, common. So here we go, ZX in common, that's the one that you want. And um, now with this new namespace, we're going to go back here, ZX in common, uh, encode options, there we go, he already knows what I'm trying to do. And these this options object uh, has a couple of things, uh, which uh, among them has the height and the width as well. So if we set this height and width um, also to 500 and we save again, um, you see the QR code is now completely clear and um, ready to scan. So this is pretty cool, right? Uh, this fixes the blurriness. This makes the actual QR image um, 500 by 500, matching the width and the height request here. Um, and that takes away the blurriness. So just to go back to the barcode format, um, let's, well, let's keep this in actually. And we're going to set the format to uh, the EN13. And like I said, it has to be 12 characters. So um, let's just put in 12, here we go, and save that. And we now have a EAN13 barcode. So that's how easy it is to generate barcodes um, with the ZXing library. Didn't I promise you it would be easy? There you go. That's how you generate barcodes in your Xamarin Forms application. Uh, of course, you can also use all of this in MVVM. So with uh, data binding and that kind of stuff, um, if that's what you're into, uh, go out, generate those barcodes, save them, send them, um, use them however you like. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave me a comment to tell me what you want to see next uh, or how you like this video or, you know, just say hi. Um, I will see you for my next video.